Hi friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Today, I have a lot of things to show you. It's been about three weeks since I've been on. I've been busy, um, like everybody, just no time to do some videos, but I have been doing some crochet and I have a bunch of stuff to show you, a bunch of finished objects and a couple items that are works in progress. Welcome back to those of you who have joined me in the past and welcome to all of the, those of you who are new to my channel. I hope you like what you see and I hope you enjoy me sharing my makes with you. So to jump right in, I have been crocheting a lot. I wanted to participate in the 2020 Stash Buster. Terry over at the Yarn Joy podcast was hosting it for October, but I just didn't get a chance to take photos and submit photos to enter the stash buster but i did make something and i'm going i made it for somebody specific and need to get it off in the mail to them but this is what it is so here's my little model head it is the caron cake latte cake these the latte cake this is in red macaroon this was gifted to me from a subscriber probably almost a year ago. I just didn't know what to make with it. Well, with it being fall and harvest time, I thought what a beautiful color to make a nice warm fuzzy cowl and a hat, nice thick warm hat. And this is such soft yarn. So the, the cowl is a pattern by prettydarnadorable.com. I can't pronounce her name, so I will just put it here below. And I will also put a link in the description box for this pattern if anyone is interested in making this pattern. I really, really like it. It worked up in one evening. Um, I was watching a movie and I made up this. And then this hat pattern is just like a, just a single crochet basic hat beanie. And then it's the ribbed um, front post, back post, double crochet all the way around. So that is that and i just love it it turned out really cute i'm going to be enclosing some photos of all of the makes as well because i just finally got my photos taken today my second completed object is this super cute cactus pillow <laughs> I saw this in on, I think it was on Pinterest, but it is by Ashley over at A Crafty Concept, and it's a free crochet pattern. You can either go to her blog or find it on Pinterest. What I love is the bobbles, the texture. So it worked up really quickly, just a few days, and I love it. I absolutely, it's big. It is like 14 inches across from like arm to arm and from top to bottom. It is a nice crochet pillow, but it worked up really, really quick. And the flower is um, the popcorn flower uh, stitch by Be Hooked. So it just adds a nice little touch. I used peach, but isn't that cute? So I got this cactus pillow made and this is for somebody specific too, um, sending it down to Arizona so there you have it all right and I forget the color of the cactus out of a whole skein I think I kept it up here let me see yeah out of a whole skein this is all I had left that's what was left And then, I don't remember if I told you guys, but my aunt had commissioned me to make a Santa gnome in Christmas colors, a Scandinavian Santa gnome, some baskets and some project bags and triangle totes to match. Well, I got started on her Santa gnome and I finished him. I used the mistletoe red heart super saver in black. And then I used the green but he is done. His little striped legs, his little black boots, his beard, 
he's done. So I completed my aunt's Scandinavian Santa Gnome. And Aunt Betty, if you're watching, I hope you like it. He's ready. I got him done just in time for the holiday season. So your Scandinavian Santa Gnome is done. And for the Scandinavian Santa Gnome, mistletoe. And this is patty green. And then I used white, Red Heart Super Saver. And then I completed your three baskets. But I want to show everybody, oh, of course, the Scandinavian Santa Gnome pattern. I've done him before twice, one, two, three times maybe, I don't know. But that is by One Dog Wolf. And it is a free pattern as well. I found these baskets. It's, it, this is a Yarnspirations um, free pattern as well on the Yarnspirations website. It's actually called It's a Hoot Owl Container. I just omitted the owl face, but I loved the basket pattern. And I chose fall colors because she wanted them in fall colors. So here's one. And I used pumpkin, Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin, and Cafe Latte. I think that's what it's called. I think it's Cafe Latte. But yeah, and it's like a weave. It's like a basket weave. Love the pattern, worked up fast. You can get one of these done in like a day, like a day. So love it. It's nice and big. It's about 10 inches in diameter. It's sturdy. It's just, I love it. I love this pattern. So I did this one. Then I did one in Saffron and Cafe Latte. So this is Saffron and then the Cafe Latte. They're all Cafe Latte on the bottom portion. I did 11 rounds starting from the Magic Circle. I did 11 rounds and then I switched to the other color. So uh, saffron and then I did I love this one burgundy and cafe latte but love them all fall colors I've got yarn floaters everywhere so but they just turned out so cute I love it and like I said yarn inspirations free pattern it's called it's a hoot owl container Alrighty, Aphrodite. And then, then I wanted to make some harvest pumpkins. I was gonna do a super cute, like Halloween video. I had a whole display set up and everything. Never did it. But happy Halloween to those of you who celebrate Halloween. I hope you had a nice Halloween. We had not one single trick-or-treater, which I anticipated with um, the uh, COVID and all that, but we carved pumpkins and um, my little Logan, Lou Who, uh, had, I got him a little outfit that said my first Halloween and we took some pictures of him for his first Halloween. And my stepson dressed up as Freddie Mercury, looked amazing. I'll enclose a couple photos here just so you guys can see how cute they looked. They turned out cute, huh? All right. My other finished object are these two pumpkins. Somebody saw these and now I have been commissioned to make three more in some different colors. But this is also a Yarnspirations uh, free pattern. I'm looking down at my notes. It is called the Spicy Crochet Pumpkins. Super easy, super fun to make. They turned out super cute. And this is just like a burnt orange scrap that I had and buff. And then this was like a sage colored scrap I had and buff. 
but they were so easy, super simple, and they just turned out really good. But I have somebody who commissioned me to make three more, but they want like a uh, buff and like off white ish and country blue and buff and then like a mustard color. So I have three more of these to make, but did those turn out really cute? So pumpkins, gotta do a pumpkin, right? For October, my kid's hat was a white tiger cub. Let me show you what he looks like. <laughs> okay, no laughing. Doesn't look like a white tiger cub at all. So I used Fun Fur in like a black and white speckly marbly color, used every ounce of the skein. I struggled with this one. I tried like three different ways and just struggled, but he looks more like a kitty cat, like a terrified, <laughs> big eyed kitty cat. So this is the hat. I thought I'd be cute to add a little tongue, but first attempt at a white tiger. Yeah, <laughs> still cute, but doesn't look like a white tiger to me. So I decided to start over and I'm using just white fun fur and this, which is a DK weight Bernat softy baby. So I have a DK weight softy baby and a Lion Brand white fun fur. So I'm gonna do the whole thing in white first. Then after I finish the whole hat, Anyways, I have a black fun fur. Oh, there it is. Then and only then will I sew some black striping into the face with just the black fun fur so that I can do more controlled stripes so it looks more like a tiger and not a striped zebra cat. <laughs> so reworking that. This has been a tough pattern for me. I don't know why. Struggling with this one. Yeah, so hopefully I will get that one done here very soon and can show it in an upcoming video. But I have not given up on my white tiger. One attempt, fail. Still a cute hat to donate for kids, but doesn't look like a white tiger. So the next hat I'm working on is this panda hat. And I found a really cute pattern by Repeat Crafter Me and I started the base of that hat. Where did I put that one for crying out loud? So I've got the base done. Now I've just got to do the eyes, the nose, and this little smile. So here's the base of the hat for Repeat Crafter Me, her panda hat pattern. So working on November's hat. Then I think that was all of my completed objects. Oh no, I have these two. I just made two harvest dishcloths. No fancy pattern, just single crochet. I chain 25 or 26 or 27, however many I chain, doesn't matter. However big you prefer your dishcloths to be. And then I just single crochet for about 24 or 25 rows. And then I just do a two row border in a coordinating color. So I made two of those. These are being gifted to my Harvest Moon giveaway winner, Kaylina. I apologize, I haven't mailed your gift out to you, but I was working on some projects to send you. So that's just that. And then my temperature blanket. So that's all my completed objects. My temperature blanket, Amber from Ooh Ah Crochet was kind enough to reach out to me as well as many others showing me where I could find the yarn or who might have the yarn in order for me to finish those like 10 rows I had left in that particular color, which was emerald, 
Well, Amber had sent me, I showed in a Happy Mail video, some yarn. She gifted me some yarn to try to get it completed, but it wasn't a match. So, what I wound up doing was getting, believe it or not, this color. Now, it may not look very emeraldy on here, but this is uh, Big Twist Yarns. And this is the color Medium Teal. This was the closest match I could find in store to work on my temperature blanket. So, that's what I did. Let me open this up for you. I'll show you where I was stuck and where I got it up to. So, okay. All right, see right here? This is where I added the big twist teal. I wanted to leave that string there to show how stinking close is that? I mean, it's pretty darn close. This is the old, this is the new. Pretty close. So I was able to get that added in, finish the month of August. That was August. Okay, so August. Then this is all of September. I got all of September from this stitch marker to this stitch marker, all of September. And then this is October from this stitch marker up. As you can see, we're getting back into the cold temperatures. We're into the blues, the dark blues. I have three days left in October to complete because I just didn't get a chance to get to the last three rows for October. But we're moving into the dark purple, which is, if you remember, I've got my chart. I've got my chart here showing all the temperatures and the colors. We're moving into the dark purple, which is 25 to 29 degrees. So that is that. Getting cold up here. I have three days left on my temperature blanket. I have three days left to go, but I calculated about how much yarn it takes for each row because I've been measuring the little balls of yarn while I crochet and it's about seven to eight grams so I calculated the seven to eight grams for the next three days plus the gray row because I always do a gray row in between each month so that's 28 grams added to this month to finish off this blanket and there we have it so speaking of grams I have a year to date total for you I'm real proud of myself. So I had a year to date in July of 8,473 grams used. That was in July. So then we add in August's yarn used and gave away, September's yarn used and gave away, and October's yarn used and gave away. So for year to date, I have used 14,649 grams of yarn. So I have completed my goal of 10,000 grams used this year, because that was one of my 2020 goals for the year. So I have exceeded my 10,000 grams of yarn used super excited about that. I've exceeded it by six, 4,649 grams. And I still have all of November and December to go. So I'm super happy about that. Made my heart real happy. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Other than my temperature blanket, the only other thing I really have as far as a work in progress goes, my, of course I said my panda hat and you guys remember all those granny squares I had? 500 and something of them. Well, I have these in here. These are the, these two colors. I have been outlining them in light purple. Oh, yarn fuzzies everywhere. 
but I have the stack done so far. So I have the dark and the plum pudding is what that's called. It's a red heart super saver plum pudding. And this is the Walmart brand of, I think it's called Damson, dark Damson purple or something like that. I have those, those ones. I had to make up a few more of these and then yeah, it's called plum pudding. And um, I'm, I'm doing the border in all of these in, in Orchid, just Red Heart Super Saver. It's going to be a donation blanket, a baby blanket. You know, I'm just gonna put them together and donate this one as a donation baby blanket. It looks really cute, it's all checkered. Plum pudding, it would be a cute little blanket for, for whomever. So I've been working on that. So that's a work in progress. Other than that, that is all of my projects. That's what I've been working on. I have received some wonderful happy mail that I wanna share in another video. This one's plenty long enough, but I hope everyone is doing well. And I hope you craft away, enjoy your crochet or sewing. That is another thing I have to work on is some sewing, um, some bags. I have a couple orders for bags. I need to fulfill and uh, I'm also gifting a bag um, for somebody else. So I have to get these bags done, which hopefully I, I can get started on them maybe this upcoming week. So no promises, but I do, I will try to get started on those and uh, hope to have a bunch made by the Thanksgiving break. So. Until then, thank you guys for watching and joining me here on my channel. I know there's hundreds of other people you could watch, so the fact that you spend a little bit of time here with me is greatly appreciated, and uh, happy crafting. Until next time, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Bye-bye.